Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I am bringing you guys tons of cleaning motivation. My house was an absolute disaster after Christmas was over and so I'm gonna tackle a few messes in the house today and there will be a part two coming out really soon. I'm gonna be undecorating within the next week so be on the lookout for that video too. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing before you go. I would love to have you. And let's go ahead and get started. So today I'm actually starting out in my guest bedroom and I almost never film in here, but like I said, Christmas was full of lots of fun and family. So I had my brother come and stay with me for a few days. So I just needed to freshen up the sheets here in the guest room. I'm also gonna be tackling the bathroom, the living room, my room, you name it. It's probably in this video. And like I said, I decided to wait a few days to take down all of my Christmas decor. There are a few things that I have taken down off of camera, but I'm gonna be filming all of my undecorating so if you are in need of some motivation to clean and put away your Christmas decor then make sure that your bell notifications are turned on because I will be putting that video up in just a few more days I don't know about you guys, but I definitely feel like my kitchen was the messiest spot in the house during the holidays, just between all of the holiday cooking and baking and people coming in and out through my back door. This room needed so much attention, but we did get an air fryer instant pot for Christmas and we have already tested it out a couple of times. So I'm really excited to get back into some of my what's for dinner videos. I haven't made one of those in a really long time. So if you guys have any recipe recommendations for things that we can make in our instant pot or in our air fryer, then please leave them down in the comments because I would love to take a look through some of those and then maybe make some of them on camera. Let me know if you guys also like what's for dinner videos. I feel like I didn't make them for a while there because they weren't doing as well as some of my other videos. But if you guys are looking for some new recipes for the new year, then let me know that in the comments too. One of my goals for the new year is to finally get the upstairs bathroom completely renovated so that I don't always have to use this one bathroom in my house. I'm really looking forward to having one bathroom that is just for me and then another spot that is just for guests. I feel like I am constantly cleaning this bathroom because every person that comes in and out of the house is using this bathroom. That is definitely one of my goals for the new year. And speaking of goals for the new year, I would really like to know if you guys have any goals for 2021, some things that you are looking forward to or some things that you want to accomplish. Let me know in the comments and we can chat about it. We can, we can.
to give me help All I'm asking for is just some space and some time A few of you guys know that I am a musician and this is my music studio. I haven't featured it a lot in my videos but I just had a few pieces of Christmas music to put away and then I don't like to put any kind of products on the piano surface. I mostly just use a dry microfiber to kind of buff out any of the fingerprints that got on the like lid and things like that but I am really looking forward to doing some more things in here once I put away Christmas decor. I have some plans and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. I have so many different DIYs and ideas that I want to share in the next year including in the fire pit. I mentioned that in a recent video that one of our Christmas presents this year was working on the fire pit outside in the backyard so I can't wait to share that whole journey and document it for you all and that is something I'm super looking forward to. Just to breathe, yeah, I need that Take it all in now, I see What I'm asking for Is just some space and some time Then I'll be alright I've been having thoughts in my mind I can't get up Tell me things I can't say myself From you and no feel like the Christmas tree, all the Christmas decor, plus all of the presents are just completely taking over my living room and I'm really looking forward to having my living room back for a little while with no decor at all. I'm kind of thinking that I want to live for at least a few weeks with just very minimal decorations and I'm kind of looking forward to that and then I will be thinking about what I want to do for the spring. I will probably not decorate for spring until end of February, early March, but I don't really do Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day. I feel like maybe those of you who have kids, you might be different. You might want to decorate for some of those smaller holidays, but for me, I just feel like I go straight from Christmas to nothing and then I put up all of my spring decor but let me know in the comments what you like to do do you like to decorate for every holiday even the smaller ones or are you more of like a seasonal decor person let me know what you guys do down below come a little closer I want to dance with you everything's moving slower I don't know what it is you do I've been looking at you all night trying to What you do Wheels in motion 
before the sun goes down. I want to kiss you before the if you have laundry that you need to either throw in the wash or you need to turn over, now is your reminder to get up and do that. This day, I actually tackled, I think, five loads of laundry because I did the guest room sheets, I did my bedroom sheets, I did towels, and then I did some clothes and things like that. I was pretty proud of myself for getting five loads of laundry done in one day. I feel like that takes some serious determination to get that much done, but if you have some laundry you need to throw in, then here is your motivation to get it done. guys are still watching then leave me a snowflake emoji down in the comments that way I can thank you for sticking around all the way until the end of the video I love those of you who watch my videos all the way through I appreciate you guys so so much but anyway that's gonna be it for today's video and thank you guys so much again for watching if you enjoyed it and it gave you lots of cleaning motivation then don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing before you go and I will see you guys again next week with a brand new video Bye guys. Ooh.